Hi guys, this is Wilder, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to model a pool cue, and it's going to be really quick. So, this is where we left off. We have uh, our tools thing up here. If you look up here, that's translating, rotating, scaling, make it bigger or smaller. Basically, we want to go down to create, and we want to go cylinder. Okay, and that creates a cylinder. You can see it's quite a. Uh, it's got quite a few vertices here. So, and there's the radius, so how big it is. I think we're going to go 0 0.1. Looks good. Maybe smaller. I want to go 0 0.05. And then we want to go, uh, give it a few less vertices, maybe uh, ooh, 10. 10 good? Mm, is that good? See now you can like see the edges more clearly. Um, there we go. Just press A to deselect. You can just see it more clearly there. Now what we want to do is we want to select it again by right clicking it, and we want to hold the blue arrow and pull it up so we can see it and it's above the grid. Now we want to. Uh, you want to go into edit mode by pressing tab or going down here and going from object object mode like that to edit mode and you want to press A and you want to have gone to the face mode see this vert there's the vertice which is the corners the lines or the faces and you want to select the top face here and then pull it up on the blue arrow that too long guys I think that's long enough okay so next you want to what well, without letting go of this without pressing it pressing a or if you do accidentally press a or hold on to something else just press a and that will deselect all come up back up here and press that you want to scale it on press s and bring it towards it and that will make that that bit there smaller so it's more like a pool cue Okay, if we go back into object mode, we can see we've basic we've done quite well. We've got a smaller end of there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into edit edit mode. I'm going to hold shift down there, look round, just maneuver myself using the shift and moving in and out. I'm going to I'm going to go. I'm going to press A to let go if you've got anything. I'm going to press Control R. And that is going to make a loop cut, so that purple line up here. And if I left click, we can now move it down or up. We want to move it down to around here, okay? Because basically, we want that will now make another cut. So these are now, if we press A, vertices which we can hold on to. Look, there we've got we've got one of them. What we want to do now is we want to press face select. And we want to hold there. Then we want to scale it in. And we want to pull it up like that. With the blue arrow. Scale it in, then pull it up to make it shorter. And we go back into press tab to go back into edit mode. We've now got pretty good shape pool cue. Now I'm not gonna go further with that. You can try and make your pool cue as um hard simple or as complicated as you want few more tips and tricks guys if you press Z you can go into this mode and if you press Z and then you press B you can select all the things on you can select all the things just by pressing B so if you press A to let go of them and then you want to make sure you're in tab you're in your, your in edit mode when you do that sorry guys so edit mode then Z then A to deselect then B it's also it's best to be on that on vertex selector B, you've got all these, so now you can move them up, down, do anything, or you can go A to deselect B. And there we go, so done. Uh, press Z to go up again. So now we're going to do some texturing. So if you see on the this side here of the screen, if we go here and pull it out a bit, so we can see, if we go to the circle thing which is the textures we want to press new which is a material 
we want to go down to the color tab and we're going to try and make a brown so we want to make a uh, bit dark we want to put it over here a bit maybe you can choose what color brown this is the brown for the wood of the f on the pool cue so i'm going to try and make it quite light quite a light brown not green brown please thank you i don't know well i'm not very good at brown so basically now we've done that we have um, made a texture which is brown and we want to and it's covered the whole thing so I don't I don't want it to cover the whole thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into edit mode I'm gonna A to deselect all then I'm gonna do control R to make a loop cut and I'm gonna make my loop cut about ooh, here maybe is that where you hold a pull cue there okay you can make yours in a different place but what I'm going to do is going to make a new material by pressing the plus here. I'm going to press new. And we're going to have a black. So we're going to have a really black black. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the bottom of the pool cue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go face select mode. And make sure I'm making sure you're in edit mode. You want to go um, Z. Because then you can get the whole thing. B. You want to get all of this there, okay? You got that? Then you want to press assign. Now, if we go back into object mode, we'll have a black and brown pool cue. And there we go. I think I'm gonna end the video here, guys. But you can you can obviously make it a nicer brown. My brown's a bit horrible. So we've curved the bottom. We've pulled in the top. No, I don't like that top at all back into edit mode. I'm going to scale it in a bit more. I uh, know. I think that's I think that's okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. What we could we could try and do is we cuz I on my pool cue we have like a little do you know you use that uh the stuff that you put on the end of the pool cue. Yeah, I'll just go A then control R. And bring your loop cut, god damn it, to about maybe here. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I'm just really struggling. Sorry, guys, I've done my mouse in the wrong place. There, that's good. And I have a little bit on the end which is slightly different, so I'm going to go into face select mode there, scale it in quite a lot. Then I'm going to go blue arrow, click on a blue arrow. God damn it. Oh, sorry. I'm just trying to get myself in position so I can see it. Like being too far away. I have a little bit on top of my pool cues. So I'm going to have that. Then I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to move. Position myself so I'm looking straight at the pool cue. Shift to go up, then I'm going to go in a bit, shift across, just position myself so I'm quite close in to this thing. God damn it. And Z to go into there. Face select mode, make sure you're in edit mode. Okay, you've got to get your B. And we want to just get these. Oh, God damn it. Um, control Z if you make the mistake I've just made. Press A to deselect. B. No. A gotta get these little it's really hard because you've got to get these little black dots here there we go i think i've got it and then you want to get um new material new i, w I usually have l a blue tint on the top of mine because i um put that blue wax you can get reds but i put blue and i want to press assign there we go so go back into object oh god because you see if you select if you've gone to edit mode if you select different faces, you can now assign a different colour. So if you late, if you later on you're making something yourself, maybe you can, and you miss out a few bits, you can just go, uh, select the face, then assign, and then go on to the material, assign, and that's on brown. So if we want to blue, then assign. There we go. Thank you for watching, guys, and please uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Bye.